I will see you again, Tarzor. Sure, I'll make another offering once the trinket needs to be charged again. I will summon you. Uh, bring this one with you. What? Me? Why? Okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Uh, bye bye. The entity so leaves. Is she a demon in disguise? No, she's just on her way to be a demon. I don't fucking know. And that's that. The trinket is charged. My only question is is the soulless body still fuckable? Bright? Yes. They're dead. <laughs> Your own chat <laughs> has the rule of no discussion of necrophilia. <laughs> you implemented <laughs> that rule yourself. <laughs> no. I restrain myself, so you have to too. Go ahead, Hatchet. And that's... Th I already read this, though. Oh, you did. You just got so distracted with necrophilia. Shut up. What did it mean it'll summon you? Who cares? What do we do with the body? Who cares, she says. Are you kidding me? The body's Andy. Focus. Right, the body's, uh... Well, on one, on one hand, we didn't kill them. But on the other, have them gone missing would definitely be better for us. Maybe they just fucked off somewhere? Who knows? Meanwhile, if there's a murder investigation... Right, so let's make them disappear. Into our stomach! Oh my god. Oh, yep, that's where it's going, ain't it? Right. We can start by chopping them up. Cannibals got a cannibal. Burn down their house. Oh, right. Cannibal. You keep forgetting cannibalism, Bookworm. You're gonna make the cannibalism upset again. <laughs> Can't we just dump them in the ocean or something? That's... Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah, that's exactly what Andrew was gonna say. Yeah. No, Ashley. We're gonna make them vanish, not wash up ashore somewhere. Like, how do we go about this? We can't leave a mess behind. Oh, there's a drain right there. Ah, right you are. See, I'm not a dumbass all the time. <laughs> No, just dumb and an cannibals. ass. <laughs> Book says, don't want to upset cannibals. I might wind up on the menu. Yeah, depending on wh where I go, like... Oh, that's that's an interesting question. I haven't actually considered... You know what? We'll, we'll worry about this later. I mm -hmm. need... Actually, no. Bright, here's my question to you. Should my Skyrim character, that is Hatchet the Orc, mm -hmm. be a cannibal? Yes. Okay. <laughs> it didn't take seconds to even think about. <laughs> the Sky, uh, the Skyrim, the the descendant of the Hatchet bloodline, shall eventually go to the last Dragonborn, who also just so happens to be chaotic evil, and has a, not, or no, let's make him chaotic. He's gonna be chaotic neutral. He's only gonna eat criminals after the initial person. He's going to focus on eating criminals, because it's easier. So they're going to be a vampire then? I mean, I could do vampire, but you can actually just straight up be a, be a cannibal yes. in the game. Anyways. And actually, come to think of it, the ring that makes it possible to do that would probably work well with his playstyle. This is a good idea. Anyway. Yeah. Oh, wow. Check out this smartass right here. Andrew is untying the parents, but stops. 
W wait, what? What is that? Is that breathing? You take a look, and sure enough, his chest is moving ever so slightly. Oh! So they are still technically alive. Huh. It's just like, they aren't there. Huh. So they still are fuckable. Right. <laughs> They're alive! This would, still, this would still reasonably fall under <laughs> the definition of necrophilia. Because, well, actually, no, it wouldn't be that. This would just be outright SA. It's a cultist person, person, fuckable. No. <laughs> Again, Bright. I control my overwhelming thoughts of all the fucked up, disgusting porn that I watch. Mm -hmm. Okay, I control those things, and I don't immediately blurt them out. You don't watch those things, and you just say this shit. <laughs> like, it's nothing. I've actually seen something like this as an SAO hentai. I feel like I might know what you're talking about. Yeah. Anyway. You try various things, but nothing gets a response from your parents. Yet their hearts still beat, their lungs still... Their lungs draw in air. Oh god, what is this? Ashley. Maybe losing your soul just turns you into a vegetable. Oh my god. Fuck. Gods. Uh, putting the essay. <laughs> oh god. <Fuck>. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh no. Essay <laughs> online. <laughs> that sounds so bad. That's absolutely a fucking game I would play. Jesus Christ, Hanshin. I told you, I'm into fucked up shit. <laughs> it's video games, what does it matter? Anyways. I would assume anyone who's playing Essay Online <laughs> is fine with the fictional Essay. That or people trying to take it down. By playing it. <laughs> How would that work? I don't know, but I've seen people do that with Fallout and GTA. Ah, uh, yes. I'm going to take down the SA game by playing the SA <laughs> <essay> game. <laughs> Anyways. What the fuck is this conversation? I don't know. <laughs> We've got one viewer. Everyone's left. Yeah. Everyone left. Even Bookworm's gone. <laughs> oh, Bookworm's gone. No, they left. Everyone this else? is just a bot. Oh, okay, this is just bot worm. <laughs> 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 oh my god. That's it. Anytime Bookworm's, like, sh like just lurking, it's bot worm. <laughs> oh, speaking of which... No, I am the one. Well, oh, speaking of which, yeah, it just jumped up to two. Oh. Oh. Fire red <laughs> new gift in the sub to Nightbot. A sub to <laughs> Nightbot! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. <laughs> Anyways. Anyways, that can't be. The cultist died and the warden too. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Wait, since the oh cultists got their soul taken, does that mean we just did flat out murder? Wait, what? Remember, at the beginning of the game, the cultists didn't have anything to offer, so they had their soul taken, and they collapsed. So when we cut them up... 
did we do murder? Because they're technically still alive. Oh, shit, yeah. This <laughs> has just been murder the whole time. Yep. Although, arguably, it's less egregious. But it's still fucked. All of this is so fucked. Yeah, anyway, you got a line. Yeah. Well, I mean, did you actually check? Our body count so far is two. Yeah. Yeah. Or wait, yeah. No, there's, uh, there's three. There's the, there's the cultist, the warden, uh, the other warden. Oh, and then there's that lady that he killed. So there's four. Yeah. And now it's going to be bumped up to six. Mm-hmm. Just proper serial killer duo right now. Bonnie and Clyde. This is not... What do you want? <laughs> this is not... What do you want? That's this. What do you want from me? Do you want head pats? Do you want hugs? I can give you hugs. Booker says, I think it kind of is... The incest makes it so says book. Hatchet? Wait, Bonnie and Clyde were incestuous? No. What are we talking about? I think it was just applying because the romance is similar because of the incest between these two. Oh, okay. okay. <laughs> no. That makes more sense. Look, listen, I have Festus on my chest. I'm not- I'm- I'm in Festus land right now. Anyway. I have my boy. The Terramatic Parasite, yeah, well... <laughs> yeah, a anyways, Hatchet, you got a line. I sh- Oh, fucking hell, Festus! Why do you get up here just to get down? What is your fucking damage? It's an immediate fuck you. I love him, but he's such a dick. Anyways. I sure did it. I just went to town and started shopping. No, 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 no. Please don't tell me he was still alive when we ate him. Well, that's... Well, that's not how that works. Yeah. He would have been dead. <laughs> he got chopped up. He, he was... He was... Y'all murdered him before you ate him. Huh? 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 What the fuck is so funny about this? Come on now, I'm sure he died pretty quickly from blood loss. If not, you're ripping his head off. <laughs> Must have done the trick. It'll be the same way with these two. Get to cutting. No, that... This changes everything, doesn't it? You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Oh shit, hopefully they don't end up like Bonnie and Clyde will. B plus C died at 23 and 24 respect. Well, at the same time, hopefully they do because uh, these are not good people. Oh no, I just started thinking about it. What if one one of the people we have to visit is Julie and sacrifice them? Don't don't you dare. Don't you dare bring that thought up, okay? We ain't mm -mm. We ain't we ain't doing it. <laughs> Fuck you, Bright. If this game goes there, <laughs> uh I mean I'll still really like the game. <laughs> Turn the game. I'll still really like the game, but holy fucking shit. I- I love Julie. I can tell. Start Ashley oh, Betrayal God. playthrough. <laughs> Part our Ashley Betrayal- yeah. Just immediately Alt F4. Yeah, anyways, hatchet. Like, the second Ash- the second Ashley even suggests killing Julie, we just- Nope, we're done. We're going back, we're getting a job, fuck you. <laughs> anyways. Okay, yeah.
You want to leave them like this? They're not getting their souls back. Though, if we want to leave them to stop, I'm all for it. <laughs> Wouldn't it be a little poetic? I'm sure you'd like that. Ah, uh, I don't know. I need to think. Oh, come on. Where are you going? No, Andrew, look. Look here for a sec. What? You get your father, too. Did like, you just, like, immediately go through that? No. Or was it just, like, just, like, we saw that image and then it immediately goes? It immediately goes, yeah. What? What? What are you doing? There. All dead. That's really dumb, girl. Mm-hmm. Now, tell me again how I always make you do all the dirty work. He'll bitch and moan. Surely he'll bitch and moan as per usual. But you did not miss that sigh of relief. Anyway, you drag your parents' soulless and lifeless bodies over to the shower. Alright, I'll start cutting you guy the blood into the drain with the shower head. Oh, you said gotcha. Gotcha. Whoa, whoa, what? Stop, stop! Stop, it's flooding! Uh? Oh, what the hell? Bruh. <laughs> oh, great, the drain is clogged up. And... The lid is screwed shut. I need a screwdriver. Oh, there was a screwdriver. Screwjobber. Screwdriver somewhere. Yeah. We just keep chopping the butt- Or, you just keep chopping the bodies. I'll go get something to unclog the drain labs. Got vinegar. Oh, that'll be for cleaning the blood. I mean, uh, soda also works for cleaning blood. And this book says, kill people? No problem. But dirty water? Ew! <laughs> Baking soda. Oh yeah, vinegar would... Oh yeah, vinegar and baking soda might... Unclog the drain? I don't think that's how that works, but we could try it. Where the fuck was that screwdriver? I know there was a screwdriver somewhere. There it is. Andrew unscrews the drain lid. Pour in some... Oh... It... Okay, baking soda and then vinegar is an awful idea. So Just vinegar. Do vinegar. Yeah. Wrong, the baking soda goes first. Wait, so the actual goal is to just... Wait, is this a... The double... Is this just a normal thing? Do people normally just unclog drains with baking soda and, and vinegar? Maybe. I actually need to look this up now. Do people unclog drains with baking soda and vinegar? Four steps to unclog your drain with baking soda and vinegar. It's a real last thing. Start by pouring a pot of boiling water down the drain. Next, you pour a cup of baking soda and one cup water one cup vinegar solution. Cover with the drain plug and wait five to ten minutes. Pour boiling water down the drain again. So they're not gonna do it the proper way, but I, I guess it's actually, yeah. Google auto completed the search for me. <laughs> 
Yeah, they don't got the boiling water. Who gives a shit? You pour down a generous amount of baking soda and then dance it with vinegar. The soda starts bubbling up, but the clog doesn't lessen one bit. It's almost as if there's a couple steps you missed. Well, we try. <laughs> I'll get some rubber glove. I'm the one who's gonna, who's gonna have to d get in there. But of course, I'm but a dainty little lady. You can't expect me to do a man's job. Oh, but one of the drop-down questions had some more context. That it will destroy the dream if you use this method. <laughs> well, make it become more damaged. Okay. Well, you know what? It doesn't matter. This is a one-time use thing. Anyway, for these characters. Fine. Just give me the gloves. Anyway, I must control my thoughts about things that we've seen today. Here you go. Have fun. And handed Andrew the rubber gloves. He takes out God knows what out of the drain. Seemingly ever ending amount of God knows what. Oh god, that is disgusting. Ugh, I'm gonna get you just you just stabbed two people, girl. Yeah. You're not helping. There, help with controlling thoughts. That doesn't help, right? I mean, book. I mixed it up again. Fuck, that is gross, Andy. Uh, uh, I would laugh uh, if he uh, throws it at her. I don't know, let's see. Uh oh. Uh oh. Both of you to call m me that when I'm. when I am on. <laughs> <laughs> this is happening while there's two corpses next to them. What? You what? Give me a you. No. Ah, no. No. Don't you dare. No. I'll fucking kill you in your sleep. Any last words? Forgive me, Andrew. Andrew, I'm sorry. I apologize. Fine, you are spared for now. The drain works. Let's get this over with. You and your brother dismember your parents. And disembowel them. And decapitate them. You also make a mental note to yourself about Andrew. Instead of osculating between freaking out and apathy... Like you expect him to. Oh yeah, our choices have made it so that... That... Mm -hmm. He don't different. care. Yeah. And now she's feeling off because he ain't acting like he normally does. Mm hmm Who is it? What? No, nothing, Andrew. If you're tired, I can take care of the rest. What? No, it's... It's really nothing. I must be seeing things. Huh? What? To think I'd ever bear witness to, to you being distraught over our parents' corpses. Uh oh Uh... Right. Then again, I bet you're just mop moping over finally getting your hands dirty. And, uh, you? Hmm? What? Are you doing alright? As alright as I can be. Hmm. Considering the circumstances. He's compartmentalizing. <laughs> 
that's good. You're being weird. Okay. That was a thing. <laughs> hey, sister, let me just mirror our parents' blood on your face. This is fine. This is so normal. I'm not losing it. <laughs> just look who's talking. Ha. <laughs> Alright, enough time wasted. Andrew continues casually butchering your parents. Incidentally, there's a knot in your stomach. So, what's the plan for all this? Where to dispose of it all? Yeah, yeah, but how? We'll use whatever means available in the house. Let's go around and see what we can do. Put them in the dryer! Got a head. Got all the limbs. That, that is a lot of limbs. Get two torsos. Got a head. You're just carrying all these The casually? pile of organs, yo. Yeah. Why are you... Why are you... Okay, whatever. <laughs> like, my body Holy... just... I, I'm just Ed Gein right now. No, you're not. And how do you explain me carrying two corpses? Right. That is not at all what Ed Gein did. I know, I'm wearing the corpses. No, you're not. Oh, I know. Let's turn some of the meat into a soup. Throw in some vegetables, and maybe spices. And then throw the rest away as scrap. What do you mean, the rest? What do you think? I'm eating some. Do what you want. What was that soup you made earlier, and what was the ingredients again? The recipe is right there. Read it. Shame on me for thinking you'd be helpful. It was meat, onions, potatoes, and carrots. Chop everything up, throw them in the pot. I will again remind everyone that this sounds like one of the worst stews imaginable. It's just miscellaneous meat, carrot, potatoes, and onions. And sperm from the penis that we're dropping in there. Right. What? Why? <laughs> <laughs> Expect the unexpected. <laughs> right, it's not unexpected. It's just original and boring. <laughs> Get a different fucking joke. Oh, there you go. Thank you. I knew you memorized it, you fucking nerd. You're welcome. Got potatoes, got carrots, have miscellaneous body parts, and onion. You cut the limbs into chopped meat. Got chopped meat. You skin the heads. You got face times two. You got skull times two. I don't... I don't... <laughs> oh my god, she's gonna do an end game! <laughs> oh my fucking god. <laughs> if you just stumbled upon predicting this fucking batch hit nonsense, <laughs> I am going to have a conniption. Also, how the fuck is it already almost 11? Deal with it, bitch. Time to go full serial killer. I mean, we already did go full serial killer. It's seven victims. 
Yeah. Seven victims already. Or no, six. Six. Yeah, anyways. Oh, wait, no, there was also the Hitman. But that's more self-defense than anything. But still. Seven victims. Seven corpses. <laughs> I had to your eye. I was, uh, collecting my anomalies. What do I do with their faces? I make mess out of them? I don't know. Throw them in the fireplace? Oh, what about the skulls? Keep them in your car. Well, the skulls we can deal with later. Along with all, all the other bones. You cut the potatoes into chopped potatoes. You cut the onions into chopped onions. You cut the carrots into chopped carrots. A demonic serial killer, but actually demonic this time, unlike the other posters. <laughs> Look at that. Much better than yours. <laughs> Just gonna go dissing on other people's cooking? Here, clean up the skulls and they could be nice decorations. <laughs> exactly. Would anyone even know they were real? Probably not initially. Yeah. I think the average person would just assume that they're, like, really realistic replicas. Then again, you can literally buy bones on the internet. Yeah, too. or or just, like, say, oh, yeah, it's just, like, a couple skulls I bought off eBay for, like, 12 bucks. Not gonna, not gonna worry about that. Yeah. <laughs> now, is there anything else we still needed to deal with? You need to find a hyena to eat the bones. Go to the zoo. <laughs> While your parents might belong in the trash, it wasn't a good idea to dunk them all in here as they are. Maybe the bodies look less conspicuous. 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 Shut up. Oh, can we burn the body's hair? It, it would be like cremation. Cremation's chambers get significantly hotter. Yeah. No way. Oh, wait. No, that's you. There's no way the temperature of this thing gets high enough. Boho. What? <laughs> Place the torsos above the fireplace. Nature rolls his eyes, but the light, but lights the fire for you. Well, would you look at that? Nothing is happening. Wait a minute, goddamn! <laughs> this isn't working. Makes me kind of hungry, though. <sighs> Let's leave this beef for now. Throw the faces. Just cooking everything. Yeah. You throw the faces into the fire too. Soup is brewing. Okay, here's a thought. Throw all the bones away with the BDSM gear. Problem solved. Someone's gonna look in that trash can and think. This is the weirdest fucking shit. I don't want to touch this. Oh, we might be able to actually throw it away now. Maybe. Nope. Nope. Amazing set book. Okay, here's another thought. Put them in someone else's trash. We actually haven't tried that. Yeah, it was the neighbors. The neighbors ate them. <laughs> Wasn't one of these neighbors literally called something like McFuckernut or something like that? Probably, yeah. Frame a neighbor for the killing wall. Oh, maybe we have to clean this stuff down there. Nope. 
It is going to be quite incriminating if a, if anyone comes in this house and finds this. Fucking dried blood circle. Two missing people. That, I, I'm, I think it's fair to say that that would open up a murder investigation. I am so confused as what to do. Something would light up if there was stuff to do. Let's see, so what do we have? We've got just skulls right now? Yeah. And I guess some bones? Mm-hmm. There's no way to open your inventory, is there? Unidentified small object. Yeah, wash laundry, kitchen knife, organs, and skull. Washed la we have washed laundry on us as well. Yes. Bury the bones in the garden? I mean, maybe. Do we have a shovel somewhere? But yeah, we've got a couple skulls and some organs to get rid of. Not seeing a shovel. But yeah, weren't you wanting to cut off stream around now? I mean, we're right at the end. I mean, true. Yeah. Fair. Oh wait, that's spade. Nope. Nothing lit up. Damn it. Have you checked the coat rack? Don't want the fuck you would find there, but... Yeah. Go into the neighbor's yard and deposit the bones. I don't think you can. I know, I'm, I'm joking. Oh, you can come back to the car? was yours? Well, yours is a very loose term this time. Mine was already the top. The one is probably dirtied. <laughs> eh. Nothing's no. lighting up. Hmm. I love the fact that oh, Andy's wait, just oh, what? behind you. Ask your stand only operates during the height of summer season. Thanks. That was so useful. Oh, I hate it when that sort of thing happens in RPG Maker games. Mm -hmm. And where, like, you're going somewhere, but if, if you move down in that new place, you just immediately get kicked back out. Yeah. Bury the bombs in the garden. I am so fucking confused as what the fuck to do. Blend the bones. Pour your parents' organs in, in the oh. blender and blend away. That makes more sense. Several servings of crimson smoothie emerge. <laughs> all of which you pour down the kitchen sink. How's that? Good as gone. I'm genuinely surprised you didn't offer me any. What? Did you want to seize or something? Oh, fucking Discord. <laughs> What's this? Oh, I thought they were going to drink it. <laughs> I want to offer you raw meat. You really take me for an idiot, don't you? But do you want his raw meat? I'm sorry. At least it's in theme for this game. <laughs> I take you for what you are, idiot. Watch your mouth. This idiot just poured your parents down the drain. What is that supposed to prove? Heh, <laughs> alright, that was pretty smart, I guess. For an idiot. 
Oh, okay, I get it, because, like, she thought of fucking blending the organs. Also, are you just not gonna claim that? I mean, this is very hack dash. These two are not master serial killers. Oh my god. Do you think this soup is ready yet? We just left. You had to leave. <laughs> Dinner is ready. I'm eating too. Of course. This is the last hearty home cooked meal for a while, after all. I suppose. That's right. Now say, ah. Ah. Uh. Unexpected. Oh, well, how is it? It's okay. Just okay? I mean, it's better than last time, but... Why are you so picky? It's really dry. You overcooked it or something. Uh, Mom's just a dry person, alright? And how the hell is it dry? This is soup. No. Mom should be more salty. This is just bland and dry. This is an incredibly odd conversation. Yeah. I rate this. Waste of ingredients out of 10. Would not eat again. Oh. Huh? You retract that statement at once. I slave away in the kitchen for you, and this is the thanks I get. I'm sorry, you can't cook. You're not forgiven. <laughs> Oh. Jackass, each didn't die. Well, wow, this food is certainly shit. What? Come on, I'm joking. It's not that bad, it's fine. More than fine. Yes, yes, it's fantastic in a way my dumbass can't appreciate. How about that? Well, why, yes indeed. This cooking is beyond my, my mortal comprehension. Correct. And out of this world culinary experience, which the nice meat cannot even taste properly. Because my taste buds simply aren't evolved enough to sense all the subtleties. Sure, when I say, when I said waste of ingredients, I mean it's a waste to feed it to me. Food of this caliber should only be fed the kings, no gods. That's more like I. Actually, that probably wouldn't go well, because if you remember the Greek myth, the guy who fed the gods human meat, it did not go well. And tell us. Yeah, I think that's what it was. Yeah, we're. Oh, yeah, but it says OMG, I wouldn't do that. And tell us. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I know that story. Basically, when he tried to do that, and uh, when he did that, and the gods found out, basically, he they threw him into, I believe it's Tartarus. Yeah, he fed him his own kids, that's right. He fed, put him in Tartarus, and whenever he tries to eat, the branch will move up, and whenever he tries to take a sip, the, the water will go down, so he can never eat or drink for all eternity. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the gods don't like that. They don't like to eat human meat, typically, in the Greek version. <laughs> I can't say the same for the others. <laughs> I mean, I can't think of any gods I know of that would be particularly fond of being yeah. fed humans. Yeah. Anyways. Yeah, he's like a neck or waist deep in water, and a branch of a fruit tree over him. Yeah. So exquisite is your cooking that I can, that I'll write you a shitty poem about it. 
Oh god. <laughs> Lo and behold, I employ you. Come feast your eyes on her. Oh, and it was food too. All, and all of this was because he wanted more of the food of the gods, but of course they said no. Oh yeah, he was eating ambrosia want, and nectar. I forgot ambrosia. about that. Uh, yeah, that was not the way you go about it. Listen, listen, gods, hear me out, okay? <laughs> you give me more of that dank ass food that you got up there, and I'll feed you my kid. <laughs> Yeah, I think they were most pissed off about it. It was it was his own kids, not more they were fed human meat. It was more like they fed his own kids. Yeah, that does make it notably worse. But anyway, yeah. too easy a weary soul. She brewed a broth to give you quite the frat. There must be magic on her finger tips to cook such delight and yet the meat is drier than her lips quarter past midnight oh my god <laughs> right at the end should i buy one um and the meat isn't dry god damn it it's just right <laughs> Whatever, humans are hard to cook. I'll get it right, I'll get it next time. What next time? Eh, whatever. Anyhow, I think we dealt with the flesh for the best fire abilities. We seem to do something about the bones. Well, first of all, I need to ditch the leftover soup. While you do that, I'll clean the kitchen. It should be fine to just chuck this into the trash bin outside, right? Human soup. That's still burning. At least it's not man broth. Throw away the leftover human soup. The bone broth. I would love it if one of those funny named people came out asking what the fuck I, what the fuck I was doing. Oh, that I'm just <laughs> You want some soup? <laughs> yeah. You are Andrew. I need to figure out what to do with all the bones. For now, I just, we gave the left. I'll just collect them. Yeah, that's them what all. I was thinking, book. <laughs> yeah. For now, I'll just cut them all before Ashley loses track of them. I mean, got you've got bags. kind neighborly things. Oh. The flesh is burned into charcoal, but the bones remain. Put them God in one bones. of the plastic bags. What about, like, the limb bones? What about the leg bones and the arm bones? There's oh, more wonder. bones than are in the torso bones. So, what do we do with these skulls? <laughs> I'm thinking of throwing those into the ocean along with the rest of the bones. So much for making them disappear, huh? What do we do all this crap for? Quiet you. As long as the teeth are removed, it should be fine. Based on what? Does he not know about DNA? Yeah. Like, it, there's DNA in bones. Mm-hmm. Like, does he think that the salt water would wash the DNA away? I don't think that's how that works. No. The book says, OMG, that skull art. <laughs> Is that? They're just bowling balls. Yeah. Anyways. Based on what logic? The, uh, dental records, I guess. You guess? How nice. Forgive me, oh beloved, for I have never gotten rid of a body before. I'm hoping one can't identify someone based on their bones alone. Do, do bones float though? Aren't they kind of like stay? I find something to weigh them down, just in case. There are rocks outside. Or 
says, OMG, they know nothing. You might summon one of the plastic bags. <sighs> Unless this type of world doesn't have that type of technology, Hatchet. Well, I would imagine they do. Here's, here's, okay, here's, this is really simple. Like, these two characters should be able to think of this, because it's in every goddamn B-rated, uh, B, B-rated, like, every fucking mafioso thing. Book says, oh yeah, bones don't float. But, literally, okay, here's the thing, here's the deal. Mm -hmm. You just drained their bank account. Go to a hardware store. Mm -hmm. Get a bag of cement. You just make cement bricks, put the bones into bricks, toss the bricks into the sea, or wherever you wanna. They're not gonna be found anytime soon. This is so stupid. Yeah. Like, the gangsters figured this out, you know? They gave you shoes, the cement shoes, you know? They figured it out. Why can't these two figure it out? Who knows? Fuck. Anyways. Hey. Yeah, sorry. Now you've got to find a way to get rid of... Red... Wait. Now you got to find a way to get rid of them. They don't watch much Mafia movies, lol. Yeah. It says off them instead of of them. Damn. Get rid of them. Got toothless skull. Got toothless skull. He's just put them in the trash. <laughs> I was about to say, I swear to God, if that's the answer. Why is it going dead silent all of a sudden? I don't know, because I don't know what to say. You just they put sex toys now. <laughs> There's an extra F. There's an extra F to pay respects, lol. Maybe I gotta talk to Ashley now. So, we lose the teeth, bag the bones with some rocks, call it a day. I got it. We kind of did that. Oh, yeah, I gotta go get more rocks. No. Where the fuck do I take these goddamn bones? Try opening your inventory. Yeah, I got the. I got all bones. And there's no way to combine inventory items. Yeah. The ocean. Well, but that's the thing. We're kind of limited on locations, but... Is there an ocean in this house? Maybe check the fireplace? Oh, well, it wouldn't burn... It didn't burn the bones before, so no. Well, yeah, like, I wasn't thinking you'd be able to burn the bones. I was just thinking maybe there'd be something to pop up. I feel like our car was one of the bottom ones. <laughs> Welcome to Bumfuck Nowhere National Park. I don't like this place. <laughs> Why not? Oh, I thought they were near the ocean since they mentioned it so much. I mean, I assume that they're not far from it, but like, we don't have access to the ocean with our characters here. It has to be something. But nothing is lit up by walking around, and it lights up. Let me just up. go. Flop. 
You could, but I don't want the answer just yet. Okay. I'll I'll go I'll go take a look. You flush the teeth down the toilet. It takes a few oh. tries to take for them all to flush. There, all gone. You wish you could have done this with all of your problems. Are you fucking kidding me? Finally, all that remains now is cleaning out the basement. Wait, did we flush the skulls down the fucking toilet? No, no, it was just the teeth. You, you'll have to take care of the bones later. Right. It's like, uh, do we have to? Yes, obviously. Why? I'll have to sacrifice some again later anyway. You're not taking them back here. You can't make this a base of operations. Huh? Why would it have to be here? Take the candles. Keep the candles with you. We're gonna live here. Right? <sighs> She's so goddamn stupid. Mm hmm. We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents' rent or whatever. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, our parents just coincidentally disappeared. With what money? With one job? Or, uh, remember, book, we drained their savings account. Okay, so apparently that walkthrough was actually in two parts, so after this dialogue, I'm just gonna save. Oh, okay. We are really close, though. We yeah, have a limited amount of cash, yeah. But we actually are really close. Yeah, fair. And I don't want to keep going on. I'm getting tired. And plus, I gotta fix the fucking bed. Bust messed up. Yeah. We're going to live here, right? We just have to keep paying our parents rent or whatever. I wish we could, but eventually someone's gonna go hit. Hey, Miss Graves has just showed up for, oh, showed up to work in a while. Book says keep pushing, no rest. But I want to play Skyrim tonight. So they get fired. So what? Oh my gosh, these, why, why is she so unfathomably stupid? Hell if I know. I doubt either of their bosses will care enough to file a missing persons report. Okay, eh, okay, that's not true. There's also the fact that they're, that they apparently mingled with the people here. Neighbors will notice them gone despite their names still being on the door. We can tell some lie. Say we're house-watching for our parents and so on. Listen, not everyone gives zero shits like you. They have co-workers, friends, other family besides us. What a bunch of whores. Why weren't they happy with just each other? I didn't imply they fucked any of them. Irrelevant. It's all the same. That anyway. actually speaks a lot to her mentality. Any mm. relationship is fucking for her. Mm hmm They can't all go. Haven't heard from those two in a while. Oh well. Someone's gonna come look looking with the authorities. 
And who will they find here? Their children who didn't report their parents missing. I just ask, how the fuck aren't you dead anyway? If you don't want to stay here, just say so. It's obvious we can't stay here. Yeah. It's not that I don't want to. I just don't think we can. Well, can we at least use their IDs? We can be the new and improved Mr. and Mrs. Graves. We run the same problem with our, as with our own IDs. Once the authorities start looking for them, they'll see what we've been up to with theirs. Huh. Sorry, Ashley. I wish it was that easy. You'd like that, wouldn't you, Ashley? Being there to answer it. Look. Whatever. I'll clean the basement then. You are Ashley. No, you. Oh, god damn it! More reading. <laughs> Her line. God damn it. God damn it. I really thought we were in the clear after all this. Oh, whatever. I'm gonna need a mop. 